and welcome to your Go Market update. It's Wednesday, the 7th of June 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. To lead you around what's happening today, it is the midpoint of the Asian session, and of course, we're going to have a look at a couple of charts as well that caught our eye today. So, let's have a look at what's come across the news wires. It was a mildly positive session on Wall Street overnight, as we know. Consumer cyclical and financial stocks outperformed. Still really in the balance as to whether the Fed will pause in nine days. The narrative seems to be very mixed at this point in time. Uh, US futures are near neutral to start the Asian session. And Asian markets haven't followed that positive US lead. Uh, fairly mixed. Uh, Nikkei is underperforming, uh, but the ASX is managing to hold on to small gains around about 0.2%. European futures are pointing to a cautious open this afternoon. The VIX continues to drop to three-year lows. US dollar index is near neutral overnight and is near to recent highs, stuck under a resistance level. The gold edged slightly higher after bouncing off that 1950 level yesterday. And we are seeing it near a key technical level around, perhaps one to look out for later in the session. Copper also is positive in Asia, as is oil. Uh, copper moved high yesterday or moved mildly lower. So a bit of a mixed day yesterday for commodities, but seems to be some positivity today. Bitcoin bounced off March levels and back through the 200 EMA to return to 27,000. On the data front, Australian GDP missed expectations this morning. Uh, Chinese trade balance numbers are out. Uh, industrial production numbers coming out of Germany and Canadian rate decision, US trade balance later. A couple of charts that caught our eye. Uh, AGL looking positive again. You can see that we had this mild retracement uh, last week. Uh, but since then, we've moved higher. Utilities doing well in Australia, now tackling around about 960. If we just put this into context, we'll look at the weekly chart. You can see this is a trend continuation, really. And now we have breached this level at 936. This looks fairly positive for a move up in the medium term to around about this 1032 level. So a fairly significant potential move of around about 8% in the offering there if we look at the australian dollar yen looked as though we're going to pop higher significantly after that rba decision yesterday caught the market by surprise a little bit essentially what we've done is we've pulled back to this level at around about 92.71 so the next move on this will be critical if we do break that then there's plenty of upside potential here possibly to around about 94.60 on the weekly chart there you can see that's the next really uh, key point of resistance but looking at the short term just a little bit of a sell-off after a brief foray upwards early in the session hasn't quite stopped yet but as i said 92.70 is the line to keep an eye on trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now